Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome to the first episode of Off the Beaten Track. This is a new series that I'll be recording occasionally, where I'll just showcase some of the hidden views and secret paths on Great Bear Island. We're going to kick things off with the ravine here. So in this episode, I'll show you how to get to some high vantage points, like this one, of the Raven Falls Trestle. Um, several more throughout the map. And um, then after that, I'll show you a route that I found to get down into the ravine. And at the very end, uh, I've actually managed to find a way to get back up from the ravine without the rope. Um, despite the best efforts of the developers. So the stuff that I'm going to be showing you is for the most part fairly straightforward. Um, but it is extremely risky, largely because of the zone we're in. There's a lot of hidden death walls um, where the game will just instantly kill you. So I highly recommend that you do what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go and we're going to create a new practice game. And I'm going to make it custom. The easiest way to set this up is to go to Pilgrim and then change... Baseline resources to low, and indoor spawns off. And this makes it so that you will always spawn at the top of Coastal Highway, if we choose to spawn there. And um, I also recommend you turn sprains off. I'm going to leave them on for this run, um, just to show you that it can be done without sprains, but um, I would turn this off if I was exploring the unknown, because it's just a pain to constantly get sprains. So we're going to spawn in Coastal Highway. And I'll just turn all my feats on. I've only got three of them. So here we are at the top of the highway. Just turn around and head straight into the ravine. Just an easy, quick way to get a practice game up to where we need to be. Now, where I was at the start of the video is right up at the top of those falls that are starting to come into view here. So let's run across this trestle. I guess I'll slow down for the uh, unsafe part here. I've done this a bunch of times in practice, so I'm not really scared of it. And something I'll be doing periodically throughout this is when my stamina runs out, we'll just pass time and then cancel after a bit. And that way we have... Oh, we didn't actually get all, all of our stamina back that time. Now, this whole process kicked off for me when I was walking along here and I saw this log across there. I thought, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if there's a way I can get up there and um, get on top of that log. And it turns out that there is. It's not too hard to do. You just walk up here and then come over here. Do a little bit of running. Um, not really necessary, but just to speed things up. And here we are. Now, I will go over that in a minute. But uh, first, we're going to head up this log. And this will take us straight to the first vantage point that I want to show you. Which is right up here at the tippy top of this log. We'll come right out here onto the point. Now, after we cross that log below us... Um, there are a couple more vantage points I've been on, um, you can see right in the center of the screen there's a few logs sticking out from a rock outcropping. That's a good viewpoint to look um, back at the bridge. Um, and then we're going to the top of the falls now. There are also some points over there, I'll talk about those more in a bit. Let's head back down. I'm going to drop off here. And this is something I haven't tested, um, but you could actually set up a little camp here. There's a pretty cool spot. Oh, I don't have um, the stuff to show, but you can fit a campfire right in there. Um, and potentially on this side, too. Uh, which might be windproof. I haven't really looked at it too carefully. But it's possible that it would be windproof from all angles down there. Anyway, we're going to continue up. Oh, 
once you get up here, there's really a lot of ways you can go. And in fact, if you follow, um, I think it's easier to do from over here. You can see we start to get some incomplete terrain back here. They didn't really expect for people to come back here too much, I imagine. Now that is, um, you cannot return back up that way. And, um, yeah, so to go do the rest of the regions over that way, you actually want to start from up there. And you can walk all the way back there. You can stay on the high ground all the way back to the Mystery Lake transition. So there's a lot of places to look down on the train car and a bunch of stuff over that way. And of course, here is the log I showed you at the start of the episode. Now, you can also walk up that slope and get over to the other side there. Um, and you can actually get back down onto the tracks if you just um, go over there and go down the hill. Which means if you're traversing this coming f um, towards Coastal Highway, you can actually skip the bridge completely. Um, now also, while you're over there, if you stay on the high ground, you can actually go over the transition completely. You can get over um, about halfway up that mountain, and there's a few other places where you can get an interesting view back this way. Um, and you can also circle all the way around and get onto the low ground, um, bypassing the instant kill screen um, that exists just below the level that you would walk on the bridge. So you can use that to actually walk up to the base of the bridge from the low ground. I'm not going to show you any of that stuff over there today. Instead, we're going to go back over and take that log across. Now, um, because I came down here, I could go up there and go back to the tracks, and that's a safe way, and then just come back across the tracks and redo that. Uh, but I'm going to do something unsafe. I don't recommend that you do this, but I scouted this route out. So as long as I crouch right here, I can stay on the high ground. And then I'm going to run. I need to clear a lot of ground here so I don't get a sprain. We'll just run all the way back. Oh, I'm actually going to get a sprain. That's annoying. All right. Well, it wasn't too bad. If you do that properly, you can stay on the high ground. And uh, you should be able to do that without sprains. It's just a sprained wrist. I wonder if I have painkillers. Okay, I do. I don't want to listen to uh, the moaning. So we'll fix the pain. That'll clear my vision. Actually, I think I might have to spray. Um, let's just go ahead and do this. I probably won't get any more sprains. I knew that was a risky part. All right. Um, so we can cut back up this way. And just get back on the log. Take that back down. Okay, so we're back to where we first came up, and now I'm going to take the log across. And you can go all the way down to the base, but I'm just going to run off here. And we're going to head up this way. Now, you go down to that flat surface right there. That's where the kill wall is. So if you want to get down lower, you have to go out much further beyond that. I don't know exactly where the kill wall ends, but um, just be sure to scout very carefully before you do any of this on a save that you care about. Okay, I've actually ended up a little bit too low, so I'm going to go back. Put on the flat ground to clear my sprain risk. I want to be up there. So let's approach from this angle. Here we go. Now there's a kind of a break in the terrain extending from all the way over there where the rail tunnel is. You can see, we can see that there's a bit of a gap there. Um, and unlike the edges of the map, if you fall there, there's actually ice down below so you will kill yourself whereas if you fall off the edge of a map usually it'll just um spawn you at a transition but you can see we're kind of coming around a weird break in the terrain here now, you don't have to do this you can actually just walk right through it and it'll kind of pop you out when you get to it um but i prefer to avoid that kind of glitchy behavior 
when possible. So we just walk around it. And then from here, we can see there's the fall at the end, the broken trail, um, train car, and then the one further down. So this is the ravine proper. The transition to Bleak Inlet is down there somewhere. So I'm just going to come around here. And here. Try to stay on this flat terrain. Now here, I don't want to get a sprain, so I'm going to do some running at an angle to clear this quickly. Because sprain... Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> okay. I messed up again. Um... Yeah, this is, uh, this is terrible. Alright, well, that's the last of the sprains I can get if I, uh, don't want to get myself into trouble here. Well, now you have a, uh, good indication of what not to do. I'm gonna go ahead and fix all these sprains. And just assume that I won't mess it up again for the rest of the run. Uh, let's make a bandage first. Just gonna harvest this. Nobody needs their socks. And craft a couple of these. Looks like I already had a cloth, so I didn't need to harvest my socks. But now I can afford to get more sprains. On the plus side, the wind has completely stopped. And I'll just take these to clear the vision. Alright, we're almost to the end anyway, so... Okay, so don't take falls when you're doing this. I just did that to show you guys what not to do. Now, we're trying to stay... Um, every once in a while I want to stand on a flat piece of ground like this. You can see my sprain wrist leaves when I do that. And I might be able to get the same thing down here, on this little edge. And then we just have to clear this. I'm going to do some more running, even though I messed it up last time. And we should be getting down to the flat ground now. Okay, so that river is the transition to Bleak Inlet. You can just walk down there, and um, if you walk back in, you'll get automatically transitioned. And then you can just turn around and come back into the ravine. Um, instead, we're going to walk up this way, because I want to show you an alternate way to do it. And also, if you just go a ways on this path, you'll eventually come to a wall, and you just can't go any further here. Um, so they've blocked access here. So instead, we'll come over here, and come up this way. And I'm going to find that wall again. There it is. And I'm just going to go until we get close to the transition and can kind of sneak around this wall. You can see it pops up the text to leave, um, but we don't need to do that. We can just go past it. And there's a wall on my right. I can't go any further, so we're just going to drop down here. And that's how you get down to the ravine. Now, um, I am going to show, at this point, how you get back out uh, without the rope climb and without going to Bleak Inlet. But I know that this route involves sprains, at least one. And I've already used all my pain medication, so I'm actually going to do this on a different save. So I'll be right back with the um, final step of this process. Okay, so I redid that first part, and of course, I did it perfectly this time. Uh, we can still have all of our supplies. Um, I decided to leave sprains on for um, this section as well. Now, to get back up, you might say, well, why don't we just go back the way we came? Um, and so to get down to the ravine exit there, one option would be to come up here and then kind of skate along the wall here to get up on top. But as you can see, we just hit a wall. Um, there's a strict no fun allowed policy over at Hinterland Games. Um, so the next thing we might want to try is uh, seeing if we can get up here on these logs and then up and around. And once again, thwarted by the fun police. So 
Fortunately, there is a route. Um, all you have to do is be more determined to succeed than they are to prevent you from succeeding. So we're going to head up here. This gets us to the other side of the um, log jam there. Now, I showed you those first two walls for the bit, but I'm not going to show you every place that I tried that was blocked off. Uh, you also cannot go here. There's a wall blocking there. And um, there's a place further up here. I'm trying to remember. I think you can try there, but that's still not high enough. So to pull this off, you have to come way back here. Now, there's a couple of ways to get up to the high ground here. One is to climb that slope right in front of me, but this one is just more fun. So we'll do it this way. Can go up here, and then... Run. Oh, man. I forgot to clear my sprain risk. We'll just run over here. Well, I've got the tools for this. Now you see why I say you should just uh, turn the sprains off for the experimentation because I'm having all these issues even though I know exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so we get up to the high ground here. Now this is where we're just going to get a sprain almost certainly, no, no matter what, because we got a huge expanse across here. I'm going to try to do it fast enough, but there's basically no chance. Got to clear that ledge. We got to get around this tree. Go to the next area. And probably right around now is when we'll get our sprain. Oh, we made it. If we can get... Yeah, we're on flat ground. All right. Well. Okay. So by coming up this high, we cleared... Let's see. Where's the log jam? Might not be able to see it very well from here. It's actually right up there. So we cleared the wall that's down below us. And so now from this point, I can actually go down a bit lower. Be careful not to go too low. And then from here, do not fall down into this pit. That's a bad time. I don't think you can get back out of there. From here, we're going to cross over to this. And then um, we continue forward a little bit. Here we go. Now. It looks like there is an invisible wall here. Because I can't go forward. Um, and the reason for that is because there is an invisible wall there. Um, but there is a way to get around this. So you come, you have to come up into this corner, up against this wall, and then go back around to get up onto this slope. And then you can walk up here, and that allows you to get up on top of whatever this is. Now, you and your disbelief will be briefly suspended here. Uh, not to worry. Eventually you'll get off of that. And now we're back next to the bleak transition. Let's get down here and clear our sprain risk. And so from here, it's just a matter of going back up the slope and back around the other way. Now, it's a little tricky. Some of this is pretty steep. So I'll show you the route that I use. stand here to clear sprain risk. And I'm going to work my way around this to get up onto the higher ground. Clear the sprain risk again. Get up next to this tree and across. Okay. And then... Gonna work my way across here and we should be able to get up to the high ground. Oh, perfect for a video. Why not just have a blizzard?
Well, of course, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. All right, I'm back approximately where we left off, left off here on a uh, much more pleasant evening. All right, so we're going to head up here around this. This gets us onto the flat ground. And I'm going to save my energy for this run that's coming up. I have to get all the way up to the top of that hill without getting a sprain. We're starting to get to where the terrain changes. You can see we're starting to see some... Uh, weird stuff with the terrain. Okay, we're back up to flat ground, and yeah, you don't want to fall off of this. So we'll follow this um, edge over to here, and follow this around. I might have missed an opportunity to get onto flat ground. It's like I'm suspended up in the air for a little bit there. Oh yeah, it must have something to do with this uh, terrain. Definitely a weird fixture. I'm going to stay up on the high ground here. And we'll run across this way. One advantage of doing this in clear weather is that you can have a much better idea of where you're going. You can see the trestle through the trees there. So I'm going to head just down below this hill. I'm still well above the bridge, so I'm not worried about hitting the death wall. And here we are. Now, unfortunately, this um, tree branch is too steep. Or something, yeah. I think it's the... Uh, actually, you might be able to get around this. It's certainly very close. I think I tested this before and concluded that it wasn't possible, though. Um, not to worry. You can always, if you want to get over to the other side, you can always just drop down here. Like right here. Take a little drop. And then take another drop here. And then you can just go back up the way we did last time. Um, right up there. Get back up to that, and then uh, take the branch across, or stay on that side if you want. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode. Um, let me know what you thought of this. I have about four more episodes planned. Um, in, I believe it's Coastal Highway, um, Broken Railroad, Mountain Town, and the other one eludes me right now. Um, but I definitely have a large number of things. So... These will probably come out relatively infrequently, though. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you see this, uh, maybe what region you want to see next. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.